All right, guys, welcome to Python tip number two, and this one is an awesome one. If you're into data wrangling and if you're coming from R, this is a perfect one. We're covering the SUBA package, which is like dplyr for Python. So if you're not familiar with dplyr, it's a package in R for data wrangling. It's really great, uh, and it's part of this thing called the tidyverse. Well, what SUBA does is it basically ports dplyr to Python, so if you're familiar with the tidyverse and dplyr over there in R, then you're going to be immediately familiar with Suba in Python. So let's get started. Uh, real quick though, this is what we're going to be making. Uh, we're going to be making this cool uh, table that's got highlight by uh, mpgd mean by sil, and I will talk about that here in a minute, let you know what that means. Uh, but this is going to be a, a cool data wrangling lesson. So the first thing we need to do, uh, if you haven't done so already, you need to sign up for our weekly Python tips that gets you access to all of the code that you see here. Uh, there is a link in the video notes. So sign up. That's going to get you access. You're just going to then go down here. You're going to do a git pull um, and you will that will refresh your Python tips and you're going to get this O2 Suva right here. Um, we're going to be working out of this file under here, o2suba.py. That's what I have open right here. So once you get that opened up, uh, then we're ready to get going. All right, so I'm going to X out of this and we'll get started. So uh, once you get into the code, what we're going to do is just do a quick shift enter under the libraries. So I'm going to do shift enter. That's going to open up an interactive Python window. And what that's going to do is it's going to import NumPy as uh, NP, import Pandas as PD, and import Suba. Uh, it's going to import the underscore. We'll talk about that here in a minute. And then from Suba.dplyverbs, verbs, we're going to import group by mutate select summarize and ungroup. And if you're coming from R, those will be really familiar to you. So the um, next thing we're going to do, we're going to load a data set. So I'm actually going to uh, minimize this so we have a little more screen to deal with. Um, we're first going to pull in our data set. So this is the MPG DF, uh, and this is the vehicle miles per gallon uh, for various vehicles, uh, 398 different vehicles. They have names over here, and then you can see the origin, uh, what model year, um, their acceleration, weight, horsepower, displacement, and number of cylinders. So um, what we'll be doing is we'll be modeling um, and aggregating data on these uh, on, on this data set. So uh, to get started here, uh, we're just going to do some simple stuff with Suba. Um, I'm going to show you how you can do a group by and summarize. So again, if you're coming from R, uh, this is a great tutorial for you. Um, the, our goal here is to do the mean and standard deviation of weight by engine size. So what we're going to do is very similar to how R operates. Uh, we can start off with our data frame and this thing uh, right here, whoops, uh, this thing right here is going to be our piping, um, this greater, greater than, greater than sign. So we're going to pipe into, uh, we're going to start off with our MPG data set and we're going to pipe this into group by and then group on the cylinders call. So when I do shift and enter, that is going to create what's called a group data frame. And this is Suba uh, under the hood has knows how to group this uh, by our cylinder column. So eight, four, six cylinder engines are all going to be grouped. Then what we're going to do is we're going to apply our summarize. So I'm going to do mean weight equals NP mean. And in here I'm providing the weight column. So this is something cool that Suba does. Um, we're using this underscore, which I've imported up here. And then we're saying underscore dot weight. So we're basically saying, okay, this has been grouped by cylinder. And then for each of these groups, we're going to grab out the weight column and uh, we're going to take the mean. And then right down here, I'm doing the standard deviation. So watch what happens when I do this. So I'm going to do shift and enter. And very quickly, we've got our summarization. So you can see uh, for each cylinder of engine, we have the mean weight for each. We have the standard deviation and you can see the standard deviation tends to increase the mean tends to increase with the number of cylinders so pretty cool uh, and we can save this as a weight by cylinder and if i hit shift and enter what's really cool is that this is basically just a pandas data frame so if i do type on this shift enter we can see it's a pandas core frame data frame so what Su suba does it's amazing. Uh, it just basically gives us the dplyr-esque verbs from R and the tidyverse and brings them over into the Python world. 
All right, so next, what we're going to do is something a little bit more complex. We're going to do a group by and mutate, which is something that's traditionally a little bit more challenging to do in uh, what, what base pandas. And our goal is to demean the MPG by the by average of each cylinder. So what that means is uh, for each vehicle that we have in here, so I'm going to do a quick select statement. Uh, so we've got vehicles, um, we have their cylinders, and then we have MPG. What we want to do is we want to group on the cylinder and then take the average MPG and then subtract that from the MPG. And that's what we call demeaning, and we're going to do, do it group-wise by cylinder. So what this is going to do is it's going to tell us for each vehicle class of cylinder uh, whether or not that vehicle is above or below the average mile per gallon uh, for vehicles within with those with that number of cylinders. So we're going to do our first group by shift enter. Uh, we now have a group data frame. Then we're going to do our mutate, which is just take adding a new column uh, here, and we're doing mean MPG equals the NP dot mean of underscore dot MPG. So remember that's how we refer to columns when we do these group wise uh, calculations, and then. So now we have the average by group, and we can see the average by group for four cylinders is 29.2 miles per gallon. So this vehicle here is below the average, this Ford Mustang. Uh, this VW pickup at 44 miles per gallon is above the average. Dodge Rampage uh, is slightly above the average. Ford Ranger is below the average, and so on. So next, what we're going to do is do an ungroup. So see here, we still have a group data frame. We're going to do ungroup. And then we're going to just subtract these two columns. MPG minus the mean MPG uh, is going to give us the um, the mean the MPG demeaned by cylinder. So you can see here this mutate this last mutate is going to be underscore dot MPG minus underscore dot mean MPG. So just the, subtracting these two columns, shift and enter, and that adds this column on here, right here. So now we can tell if it's positive, it's above the, the average. If it's uh, zero, then it's right around the average. And if it's negative, it's below the average. So uh, now what we can do is uh, save this data frame, and then we can inspect it a little bit further. So the last thing I want to do here, we, we just did a lot of CUBA calculations and uh, data wrangling, which is really cool if you're coming from R. But there's a lot more to Python uh, than just what uh, you get out of with, with Suba. And one of the things that you're going to find, especially if you're working with data science teams, is they're going to probably be using base pandas rather than Suba. So eventually you're going to want to learn how to do some pandas operations. So down here I have just an extra pandas operation. What I'm doing is I'm grabbing uh, just the name cylinders and MPG demeaned. Um, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to sort these values by the MPG uh, by cylinder, and that this is going to have all, all the, uh, the the highest at the top, so the, the ones that are uh, over the average. Um, and the Oldsmobile Cutlass Sierra diesel uh, seems to be getting 18, um, more than 18 miles per gallon, more than the average for six cylinders. Uh, Mazda GLC is giving 17, so these are good. They're getting a lot higher fuel efficiency. And then these vehicles down here are getting a lot less than the average. Um, and then what we can do with pandas is do is access the style accessor. So if I do shift and enter, um, this gives me the style accessor, which uh, produces kind of a long table. Um, and then what I'm going to do is do background gradient shift enter to get that gradient that we saw at the beginning of the video, which is which is really cool because it highlights um, the um, highest uh, vehicles so you can see 18 is very blue and as i scroll down we're getting closer to zero and now we're getting into the negatives uh, negative one negative two negative four and it's getting very white so negative 11. Um, so these are the worst vehicles uh, for miles per gallon versus the average uh, in that cylinder class and then these are the best up here cool um, so now you're probably thinking, all right, pandas isn't that bad. Uh, we, I can I can handle this. Um, so let's just recap here. Learning pandas is a really good idea. Suba is great when you're coming from R to Python, which is what I did. Um, but when you're going to be working in data science teams, uh, they're generally going to be using pandas for uh, their data wrangling. So about 99% of your data wrangling code is going to be written in pandas. So it's better to learn pandas if you want to be part of the team, right? 
uh, it turns out that I teach pandas from an R user's perspective. So if you're coming from R, then I can help you a lot. Even if you're not coming from R, I can still help you. Um, so there's this course that I just launched. It's called Python for Data Science Automation. It contains five hours of pandas data wrangling, and that's just in the first part of the course. So there's two more parts where you're going to be learning from SK time. You're going to be learning time series. You're going to be uh, learning how to how to work with time series with pandas. You're going to be learning how to do automations and make lots of functions and do all sorts of cool things like visualizations and reporting. So here's the link to the course. Definitely check it out if you want to learn more. All right, I'll catch you next time. See ya.